Now, the last two red flags have more to do with changes that you start seeing within yourself. And these flags happen once you're deeper into the relationship. Once your confidence, self-worth, and sense of self has been broken down, you will start noticing these things. So what you'll see is that you stop holding your ground because the consequences of standing up for yourself are too intense and too damaging. So you start to shut down emotionally, to feel helpless, maybe even anxious and depressed. And if you start to pull away from her, she will give you glimpses of what attracted you to her in the first place. She might even build you back up slightly, like a cat who pretends to let the mouse go just to pounce on it again as it's getting away. Flag number 10, you have no idea who you are, what you like, what you want, what you need. Basically, your sense of self is pretty much shattered. As promised, I'm going to give you the worst advice I've ever heard on how to handle a female covert narcissist. And here it is. To let her know that she's a narcissist and suggest that she get help. Now, if someone tells you this, you should immediately assume that they know very little about narcissistic personality disorder because this goes for all narcissists. Don't tell them they're a narcissist and that they need help. It's not going to work. So find someone who has experience, someone who can help you figure out what you want, what you need, and how to strategize to get your life back under your control. So my best piece of advice is don't try to figure out the female covert narcissist on your own because she's not like a normal person or partner. She won't play fair, she won't fight fair, and she will stoop to levels that wouldn't even cross your mind. And if you are wanting to leave this relationship, you'd really be best off to seek professional help on how to do this strategically. Now, there are other red flags. And if you've seen some other red flags, I'd love to know about them. So 